Will it soon be the end of soldiers' new Army combat fitness test? As of last week, the Senate Armed Services Committee passed the chamber's fiscal 2024 defense policy, which restores the Army's physical fitness test as the test of record. Although the bill would have a long road before becoming law, it signals powerful lawmakers' frustration with the test, which after years-long piloting and implementation periods, became the official test for active duty soldiers on October 1st, 2022. The Army's top non-commissioned officer, Sergeant Major of the Army Michael Grinston, told reporters that the combat fitness test, which covers 10 components of fitness, including muscular strength, power, speed, and agility, is vastly superior to the old one, which only consisted of two minutes of push-ups, two minutes of sit-ups, and a two-mile run. What's going on champions? It's Julian Stout, licensed personal trainer, licensed PE teacher, world record power lifter, special education teacher, here to take the fear out of fitness. All right, you saw the video. As a former veteran who actually exceeded the Army physical fitness test standards, first thing is the Army combat fitness test actually is better for several reasons because as a fitness professional and as somebody who spent time in the military who knows a thing or two about what we do in the military physically that is the things that we were being tested on had nothing to do with what we were capable of doing on the field pushing up sit-ups and a two-mile run only explained your muscular endurance but it did not explain your power it did not explain your strength did not explain your muscular endurance over time as a as somebody who wasn't really like you know i wasn't a super soldier or anything like that but i performed to the highest levels of physical fitness when i was in and and that's compared to everyone across the board not just you know me as a supply clerk because that's what i did i was a supply clerk when i was in the military i wasn't i was a pencil pusher in a way right However, I was fully trained on everything that a soldier is supposed to do. And I was very physically capable of doing everything any other soldier in the military could do at that time. All right. So with that being said, at 46 years old, right now, I will be able to do extremely well on the army combat physical fitness test as of right now because it requires you to do a deadlift you have to do three deadlifts at a certain weight prior to my injury prior to my surgery i was able to actually perform at all of the tasks um maxing out was i believe 10 for the for grabbing on the bar and then doing um knee tucks so basically what you're doing is, is you're driving your knees to your, your elbows while hanging on a pull-up bar um it can be confirmed that I could do 30 pull-ups in one sitting without stopping. Um, sprint, drag, carry, sprint, those things, I was, I'm fairly fast. I mean, I'm not, you say bolt, but I'm, I'm pretty quick. Um, the medicine ball tossed, you have to just toss the medicine ball approximately, I believe it's like 20 yards, something like that. I, I think I could throw 10 pounds about 20 yards. But within all of that the point that i'm making is is that the acft was truly superior to the apft and what they're about to do is go back to the old standards for several reasons one it's obviously they're talking about budgetary reasons two the other reason is the miscommunication of the standards for females on the acft right now the way i feel about it is it should be mos based just my opinion what do i know based on your mos you should be asked to do certain things and because certain mos's are job 
neutral so i should say gender neutral it doesn't matter what your gender is if you can perform the job they want you there right and i believe that the standards should be universal in those in those mos's specifically combat mos's combat mos's should be universal across the board no excuses because you are in a combat unit you are in a unit that is on the front lines you need to be able to do all that is required from you to do on the front lines at all times those of us who aren't on the front lines whole different story i believe that there should be minimum requirements based on the job that we do because i was a supply clerk i did move heavy equipment from point a to point b getting it into a truck getting it off of a truck loading it into other vehicles giving it away to other people all of that stuff so that's no secret i think i could talk about that but in that regards the the most important thing that we all have to understand is the military is supposed to be in the best shape humanly possible at all times because if we're not we're not the greatest fighting force in the universe right so i don't know what the government's doing but we need to figure it out because the apft is pathetic just saying it's all endurance based yeah who can't build themselves up to be based on endurance but if you cannot have the endurance based on the physical nature of combat then what's the point of being fit yeah you could go back to the old way because it used to work but now more than ever there are a lot more militaries that are doing more physical stuff with their military why not have the same physical edges that other military personnel have so that way we are on par physically with our rivals okay strength i want to be able to i want somebody i want to know if i'm strong enough to get somebody thrown out of a foxhole pulled out of a foxhole grenade okay pull them out of a foxhole i want to be able to know that if something happens to me i am not that heavy but i want to know if somebody can carry me with their equipment to safety in a very short distance without getting injured okay or minimizing injury in that period of time people have to understand and realize that this is why i talked about what i talked about in my last video about the military about the fitness military standards and how the tape test is actually barbaric and archaic it it's it's barbaric and i know y'all like barbaric what do you mean barbaric it's barbaric because you're forcing people to change the nature of their bodies in a way where it is actually detrimental to their performance not um not um paramount so because of that i want it especially to women especially to larger women women who are large enough to, and strong enough to be physical in the military but then on the flip side gets chastised about how big they are because they don't meet this specific bmi requirement you with the acft you're asking women to get bigger and stronger their bodies are not going to adapt the way you think it's going to adapt if they start lifting heavy weights if they start running and sprinting they're going to build muscle really quickly studies have shown that human growth hormones actually increase 700 percent in people who sprint regularly so the women specifically because we already know what's going to happen to a guy that sprints and lifts heavy weights guess what happens to women too and if you're not accounting for muscle mass for the weight of a woman increasing her mass because she's her body needs to adapt to the physical demands of the job then you're not being fair but i digress the united states military needs to figure out get their act together not the military but let me speak, speak specifically to congress congress needs to get the act together so that way our personnel military personnel are fit to fight and are assuredly ready to fight 
at all times because when you create a state of confusion as to how we are supposed to train and how we're supposed to get ready for the next wave of combat the next wave of, of the future in combat you are creating a gap in our ability to protect ourselves and our nation and i would sincerely hope that the powers that be finally do get themselves in a position where they understand that this is not anything to play with it's not about money i'm sorry you gave you gave the military 78 million dollars to convert all of their facilities and all of their and to have all their equipment so that way they could effectively test every member for the acft if it's a budgetary issue it shouldn't be that much because everybody has the equipment if anything all you need to do is either add additional equipment or you need to spend a little bit of more money on upgrading the further the the remaining facilities in our units and in our um bases so that way these soldiers these airmen these cadets these marines can all be able to protect our nation effectively guys if you heard anything in this video that you like or dislike feel free to comment below i would really appreciate it if you click the subscribe button and click the all notifications so that you can get every single notification for everything that i post and i share on youtube guys don't forget to like subscribe share follow me on facebook instagram and on youtube i greatly appreciate your time have a nice day and be the best you